want to dive into the ancient alien theory, a theory that was made popular by the book Chariots of the Gods written by Eric von Daniken back in 1968. Now, in this book, von Daniken asks a number of questions, most prominent being, did aliens assist in the construction of some of these massive structures we see in the world today? And were interactions with aliens or alien technology the basis for some of our major religions we see today? Now, I do not subscribe to everything the ancient alien theory suggests. However, they do present some fascinating evidence and make very compelling arguments that are hard to ignore. So open your mind on this one and let's dive into this mystery and let's get to it. Since its inception, the ancient alien theory has become more of a belief system rather than a theory, and it's because of this many people do not take this theory very seriously because when your answer to everything is aliens, well, let's just say we're not there yet. That being said, there are a couple key aspects of this theory that do merit a closer look. The first of those being the structures. How were some of these massive structures constructed with the tools that were available at the time and two, certain relics and pieces of evidence that have been discovered over the years that depict things we simply can't explain. Now the first structure we look at is easily the most recognizable, the most prestigious, the Great Pyramid of Giza. Now I'm not going to get into all the ancient alien theory, I'm just going to point out some simple facts about this massive structure and I'll just let you make the final decision. At a height of 481 feet with a base of 756 feet, the Great Pyramid of Giza was built with an estimated 2.3 million stone blocks with the average weight 2.5 to 15 tons with some of them weighing up to 70 tons. I don't know if you're aware but a ton is 2,000 pounds which means some of these stones weighed up to 140,000 pounds. Next, the entire pyramid was then encased with another 144,000 casing stones, each one of these weighing between 15 and a half and 20 tons, highly polished, flattened to within an accuracy of 1 100th of an inch, and all six sides of these stones being cut at a perfect right angle. And finally, the last fun fact, the stones that were used to build the Great Pyramid of Giza were limestone and red granite. I don't know if you are aware of the tools that we use today to cut these stones, but let's just say copper chisels doesn't do it. And that is my point. Just from these facts alone and knowing that the Egyptians at the time, their greatest technology was copper chisels and they had no pulley system. You're telling me with that they were able to build something that today, with all of our beautiful technology, we cannot recreate. It just doesn't make sense, but again, this is just my opinion. One other ancient site I want to look at is Puma Punku at Tiwanaku. Now, this isn't necessarily a structure, more or less the remains of a structure. However, regardless of the fact of how these massive stones became embedded into the earth and the history and other theories that go into it, look at the stones themselves. Look how precise they are cut, the right angles, the intricate designs, the interconnecting look as if they're pieces of a puzzle. How the hell do you do this with primitive tools? Look at the machines we have to use today to do something like this. We use things like CNC machines, computer guided machine cutting tools. Looking at some of the ancient artifacts and some of these ancient relics that either seem to depict a technology that simply doesn't fit the time or other fantastical things. You can put whatever title behind it you want, but one of these depictions I really want to look at is located at the Hathor Temple in Egypt, known as the Dendera Bulb. 
Now, I don't care who you are. The first thing that comes to mind when you see this is obviously a light bulb. It mirrors exactly what a modern day light bulb would look at. You even seem to have some sort of electrical line feeding into a power source. It is incredibly interesting when you see something like this. And it's one of those things where either the imagination is getting the best of us or we're seeing exactly what we're seeing. There are dozens of other credible pieces of artifacts and evidence that we can see throughout the years that, again, just depict things that don't fit. But again, it is up to you to decide what we're seeing here. And really, you do not have to go one way or the other. Some of these things can be ancient aliens. Some can be religion. Some can be science. It can all be encompassed into one. But when you look at things with open eyes and just use common sense, you kind of I have to admit some of this stuff doesn't make sense that's gonna do it for me on this one guys I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please do me a huge favor hit that like button and if you enjoy the content hit that subscribe button keep coming back for more videos guys I really appreciate you guys checking out my channel my name is Corey James I'll see you on the next one